what were some of your challenges? The challenge is when things don't go your way. It's just they don't go as you plan. I yeah. mean, these always are the challenges. Uh, you, you know, you just, and, and also it's been always been my weaknesses. I have two weaknesses, uh, children and women. So I've always been that very supportive as um, helping them, supporting them. Um, and it, for me, I had, I had mentors in my life. Mentors, uh, you know, my mother, my mm -hmm. husband, mm -hmm. uh, one of my best friend. Um, she's a female. She is, uh, she's my mentor. So what I've learned to do is take what I've learned from them and mentor the same way and be there for some other women, for the women that they're in my life. And, and I really, I enjoy doing that because um, by mentoring, that you learn so much and yeah. you keep reminding yourself by giving me advice or being supportive. I'm like, wait, wait a minute, I should do that for me as well because I keep forgetting once in a while I need, I need that yeah. reminder. So um, challenges, they will always be there. No matter if you're female or male, the challenges are there. It's just how you, how you manage them. Yeah, we've talked about it also. Women, that vulnerability that we do have asking for help, developing mm -hmm. that team, yeah. developing those relationships are very, very important. What about you? I mean, has that been part of your theme as well as far as, you know, asking for help, but also... Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I think... It's not, a sign, it's well, not a sign of weakness. No, yeah. absolutely not. I, I did not get to where I am right now because I didn't get the help. I think it's by building the team, having the right team with you, and... You need that team to help you. Um, you can't do it on your own. I tried to be a Wonder Woman. It just didn't work. So <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. I, I, sure, I, take, I, I, I need my, my team. Off. I need my supportive. <laughs> so I, I do. And do I have only women as a team? No, I have both. I have men and women in my life. And um, yeah, you have daughters. I have daughters. Correct. You know, for me, it's extremely important to leave a legacy for them. Um, my my daughters are older. I have grandchildren. Um, and I have seven grand granddaughters. <laughs> I have no, this is what I have to do. Women's leadership yeah. is so very important to me. But, but again, leading with the feminine is something that's become more and more important for me. And my daughters are teaching me that. Because I think for a long time I led more with the masculine. But now that I'm you know, older and I'm watching my daughters where mm -hmm. they are in their lives and what they're doing, leading with the feminine, being a woman and using those skills and those abilities seem to be what we need to do in this world to really support one another and to really be successful. What I do you totally think agree. I, it's funny because you said that because I'm constantly trying to talk. I have two daughters, 12-year-old and 13-year-old. Of course, now 13-year-old, she thinks she knows more than I do, and that's fine. That's normal. But, but I think the <laughs> constantly, I have to remind them, and I'm trying so hard not to remind them and just say, now remember, you're a female, it's going to be hard for you. I stay away from that. Mm -hmm. I just say, now remember, you can do anything you want to. It doesn't mean that you're not going to have the challenges, but it's just um, take your time, um, do your homework, uh, don't be afraid, uh, be strong, um, and always have plan B. Yeah. So that's... It's the best I can do. I mean, I, I, it's, 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 it's a struggle. And, and especially because you don't want them to have the same challenges that you had. So you want them to have the easy way out. But um, the more I think about it, I think they're going to have it harder than we did. So. Yeah, the school of hard knocks is how I've learned. I think we all have to take the path of, uh, and, and again, along the way, Absolutely. Find, find all the challenges and the opportunities. So what, what advice, what would your final words be as far as advice that if a young woman came into this room right now, she goes, and she said to you, you know, I really, Rita, I think I want to be an architect. What would you say to her? I would say go for it. It's the amazing profession. You're going to have so much fun. It's, um, um, it, the payback is amazing because when you, uh, design um, a structure and you walk away from it, it's, there's nothing like it. it's like uh, giving birth. Yeah. You've birthed a lot of beautiful buildings in this, this community. And it's been wonderful. Thank you. I recommend it highly. It's an amazing profession. Thank you so much. Thank you.